It's been 15 years since Jersey City Armory has seen the biggest fights in boxing. We're talking about hosting Bayonne native Chuck Webner, as well as former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston. Tonight, WBU world title holder Danny McDermott and Nicholas James, a Jersey City native, is hosting the fists of the Fighting Irish. Um, this is a historic event that we're uh, having over here. Uh, first fight in 15 years in this venue and uh, a lot of history here. It was a sold out event and all proceeds from the fists of the Fighting Irish in collaboration with Global Boxing was donated to the National Guard State Family Readiness Council. Nick James also gave 300 tickets to the local Boys and Girls Club as well as county recreation centers to introduce boxing to the younger generation. Well, my partner Nick and I, we're both um, former veterans. So we figured we, we needed to give back. We're in the armory, we need to give back. So uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy and excited to give back to the, the soldiers and the men and women who, uh, who are fighting for us and our freedom. So it's, it's an amazing thing. The main event was military veteran, American hero, John Fasthands Franklin in a WBU featherweight title bout with Josh Crespo. To come here and do it in this uh, historical building, um, I read up on a little bit. They haven't had a fights here in a long, long time, and then to come back and I'm the main event, um, it's pretty, pretty much a blessing. Especially when you don't really, you know, when there's, you're not really big time, you don't be the main event in another state, and so that's it. Just means a lot to me. Helping people who are in need is a great cause, and I'm more than I'm I'm more than happy to be here. You know, to draw people in so they can buy tickets, and I feel like I've made my contribution to that. The result was a split draw. Other fighters like Darren Goodall and Portland Pringle were equally excited. I mean, it's a big thing. It's Jersey City. You know what I mean? It's the mecca of boxing here in Jersey, so it's a big thing. Well, it means a lot to me because you know I grew up. A boxing fan you know I love boxing and to be I'm actually from Connecticut so to be back up north is awesome you know what I mean and that's 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 great that they're bringing boxing back here and man it means a lot to the, to the city to the state you know so I'm just happy to be a part of it the opening fight was Wang Zimmon of China versus Jesus Lule of Fort Myers Florida Wang Zimmon was the victor. There were three main fights from Jersey City. Jersey City native Jose Ortiz against Tyrone Lucky of Middleton, New Jersey. The fight was a draw. Brian Rendon, another Jersey City native, won the welterweight division against Frank Jardin with a knockout at the fourth round. You were in the ring. You, you took him down twice. I mean, what was your approach? What was your do? Like, what was was your move? For real, to be honest, I got tired. To be honest, so I got to work a little bit more in my condition. But for what I felt, I felt all my punches, all the punches that I threw to him. I knew that he would feel those punches because they were with all my energy, all my power. So I knew that uh, that he was going down. I knew it. Well, one thing is, what does it mean to you to win in your hometown of Jersey City? It means a lot. It means, it means, it's everything for me. I'm, I'm really happy because all my friends came, family, people that I don't even know cheering my name. You know, that's a, that's a really, really great feeling. And Tyrell Wright from Jersey City won the heavyweight division on the second round against Alandu Poog of North Carolina. Tyrell did go down on the first round, much to everyone's surprise. How does it feel to win your hometown of Jersey City? Uh, it feels real good, you know, I, I took my time. You know, he caught me with a uh, flashy knockdown, I squared off. Thought it was a slip, but you know, I was angry, but I was under control. It's good to fight angry sometimes, but as long as you're under control. But it felt good. You know, all my fans out here, all my loved ones and extra fans came out here, all different nationalities. St. Patrick's Day weekend, this was all about. Oh, second round. Did you expect that? I kind of expected because, you know, the guy was taking forever. He didn't show in at the weight in. You know, he came to the press conference, and then he took forever. It was probably going to go about four. But he took forever to get dressed, so I knew he was nervous. He probably going to come out wild. 
you know, and after about first round, fill them out, and second round, I know I was going to start turning it up. After rounds go, I was going to take him deep woods and drown, which is what I did. Newtownards Northern Ireland Stevie Quinn Jr. makes his debut on American soil against Stephen McIntyre in a junior featherweight for a WBU youth title. Stevie Quinn was the victor by majority decision. Congrats to Stevie Quinn, Wang Zimmon, Jose Ortiz, Brian Rendon, Tyrell Wright, Daryl Goodall, John Franklin, Hakeem Bryant, and Zhang Zuli. Well, that wraps it up for the Fist of the Fighting Irish. I'm Jeanette Jozu, Hudson County View, the eye of the community.